two. I'm VidHead85, and thank you so much for joining me. There she goes again. Secretary of State, or former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, has said that Nancy Reagan was, in fact, one who started the conversation about HIV AIDS. This is almost, this is worse than when she said that DOMA was a defensive action because Bill believed that there was a, going to be a push for a constitutional amendment to ban gay, uh, gay couples from marrying each other, which would not happen until 2004. The congressional record says nothing about it, and everybody disputes it, saying, I was there, stop telling me that it was to prevent something worse. And that something worse could have been, well, I don't think Bubba's going to get elected if he, you know, says that if he doesn't sign DOMA or veto it. But for former First Lady Nancy Reagan was credited by Secretary Clinton as starting a conversation about HIV AIDS. That's like saying Donald Trump is starting a conversation on how to welcome Muslims into the neighborhood. Nancy Reagan stood alongside her husband, refusing to do anything about the AIDS crisis. And people say President Obama's response to Ebola wasn't fast enough. But 20,000 people died from the disease. Even more than 20,000 people died. Only after the voices were too great to ignore did Reagan at least put together a panel on HIV, AIDS, and fund research, which he cut the following year. Nancy Reagan was there all the time, not calling her husband out or anything, just sitting while he ignored a public health crisis. The right people were dying, and that's all that mattered to them, even if one person was a personal friend, star of screen. Rock Hudson. For former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to say this is not just awful, it's spitting on the graves of those she of those that Nancy Reagan allowed to die because of her husband's silence. Act Up would not have needed to exist if there had if they had not ignored this crisis, and millions of lives today could have been saved if they acted promptly. He was too spurred by the religious right, though he disappointed them all the time, to silence and double down on abstinence. Hillary Clinton has, in fact, been her own worst enemy when it has come to these kinds of things. Her gas are somewhat the stuff of legend. In 2008, she used racism in her primary against President Obama, who was then Senator Obama, and talked about assassination against the candidate who had death threats from the time he decided to run for office. Keith Olbermann called the media out for giving her a pass, and you can check that out on YouTube. Clinton hailed Nancy Reagan for starting a conversation that she refused to have. It was gay men, the unsung lesbians who stood up to do things like Meals on Wheels and advocate for gay men who had been ignored by their doctors and disowned by their families. It was organizations who manned the phone lines trying to do whatever they could for pe uh, f could, while many people that worked at those organizations dropped like flies from the disease as well. It was the first few brave voices in government who also who dared to speak out as well. None of those were Nancy Reagan. If she had said that of Elizabeth Taylor, I would have commended her. But she said it of a woman who sat by and watched people die and did nothing. Secretary Clinton did not later said she misspoke. But that is not what you did. You did not misspeak. You single-handedly took a sledgehammer to the graves of those who died in the struggle against HIV AIDS and insulted the intelligence of everyone who lived through it. Apologize. Truly apologize for your words. Don't make a half-hearted attempt with, I misspoke. You say you should not have said it and it insulted the intelligence of everyone who knows anything about the history of the crisis. I hope that people remember that when they head to the ballot box on March 15th and onward. Because if you are willing to say something like this, not only do you, do, do you display a penchant for historical revision, but of course, you are a known liar. Hillary Clinton is nothing more than a liar whose time has come to be rejected once again. Thank you very much.